What's up guys, Kobe Cheese here. Wanted to bring you a quick video showing off kind of like uh, my new favorite way to level up a character at the moment. And now this is a uh, character that I'm actually going to be respecting as a solo magic finder. I'm going to be running through maps and stuff with Righteous Fire. I'm pretty sure you've seen everyone doing Righteous Fire as their build of choice for killing of Ziri. And I've always wanted to make a Righteous Fire character but um, I just haven't done it yet. I guess I feel like I'm doing like flavor of the month at this point, but I, I mean, it was always a plan of mine to do it and it wasn't really my thought to do any at Ziri Farm. I just wanted to make one just to run through maps solo and have fun and stuff. So this is my second character. I didn't really die on my main or anything, but that's not even what this video is about. The point is that um, I'm doing Flame Blast here as my method of actually leveling up the character that I will eventually respec as a, a different build a little bit later. Now, the thing the thing that I thought would be really good about showing you this is that I'm using Flame Blast on a Marauder that doesn't have any a real Mana Regen on the tree, and it's working out just fine. And the thing about this leveling method is that you can use it just like Face Breakers with the right set of gear, and you can use it on pretty much any character, and it's very fast to level. I think it's just as good as Searing Bond is, and, or maybe better, in fact. I've done Steering Bond several, several times to level the new characters. And the thing about leveling builds and stuff like that is that there's always going to be the new OP, you know? Like, there's always going to be something that's, that's, you know, the best. So, it used to be that everyone had to use, everyone had to use a, um, a special throw before, because that was the best way to level up. And then everyone had to use... Uh, Searing Bond because that was the best and so everyone always complains about something being OP because there's always something that's the best and in this particular case I think that Flame Blast is the new OP so <laughs> I just wanted to show off that build and you can see I'm doing some docks right now I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing but essentially I'm killing everything very easily and what I actually like to do is I, I augment my uh, Flame Blast with a Cold Snap Trap which obviously is not very effective against one rare mob, but uh, well, let's, let me see, let me show you. I'll throw down the cold snap trap, just like that. It holds things in place just long enough for me to get a couple of charges safely with my flame blast. So as I'm charging it, they run into the cold snap and then they get blasted. So it's very simple. You can use it with a four link, which I'm doing. Well, actually I have a five link, but I only have item rarity because YOLO. And essentially you just turn on uh, flame blast with chance to ignite fire penetration, and elemental proliferation. Now, I'm using a searing touch. If you're going to do this as like a, you know, like a twinked out, per se, a uh, twinked out character, leveling up a new character with uh, the best items, then just get yourself a searing touch that can be three or four linked, as cheap as possible. And I've actually done this on several characters. I'll buy the searing touch, and then I'll sell it whenever I'm ready to respec into my main build. And that's exactly what I'm going to do on this character. I'm just going to resell it for the... For the and the funny thing is I've actually made money each time. It's like an investment because I feel like Searing Touch has gone up in price. Now that's not always going to happen. Eventually Searing Touch price is going to go down. Well, I think it's going to go down. But um, either way, I've... Uh, hell, I even did this last league. I uh, had a character I was using a six-link Searing Touch for the longest time. Then I ended up selling it for like five more exalts than what I paid for it. So uh, so it's almost like investing. Whenever you make a new character, you you buy <laughs> you buy your Searing Touch and then you sell it off when you're done with it for more, for more currency. Anyhow, uh, you don't need that, but I recommend it. It's very good because you don't really have to take any damage notes from the tree and it gives you all the stuff that you would like. And then the next thing, you get Cloak of Flame, which is like one chaos. And the Cloak of Flame just basically gives you a chance to ignite uh, of 10%, which is really nice because this is a proliferation build. I can actually run around, you don't even have to charge up Flame Blast. No, normally what I'm doing I'm, is I'm just doing this. I'm just doing like one stack or two stacks and you see everything just burning to death and you just kind of run around and you do that. Um, I personally just like to charge it up because it's more fun, but you just do one or two stacks and it's very mobile. Like if you, if you have a boss that you have to dodge, literally just run around in circles doing this and it's like throwing fire traps at them. It's just as much damage or maybe just slightly less damage with one stack than throwing a fire trap. Two stacks, three stacks is much more obviously. And you can charge it up as much as you like. You obviously have to be careful for like huge reflect packs or something if you're going to fully charge it up. Mother of the Swarm. Let's go ahead and fully charge this and proliferate her down. The cool thing about it is that you get those big proliferate. See, watch Mother of the Swarm. She's burn, burn, burning. Boom. And there we go. So that is the Flame Blast build. It's really simple. It's literally just... Cold Snap Trap, which you don't even need that one. I just like it. And then Flame Blast. 
just one or two stacks and you're going to kill most things. So I also recommend taking a, um, uh, I, I get like a 10 quality flame blast because you can buy that for like two chaos from most people, two, three chaos for a 10 quality flame blast. Uh, obviously if you want to get like a 20 quality one, they're going to charge you like an exalt, but that's why I go for 10 quality because it gives you 15% chance to ignite enemies with just 10 quality. So it goes up to 30%. It's crazy. So my total chance to ignite is at 56% chance with, with the quality from flame blast with the cloak of flame and the chance to ignite gym. I'm always just pff, igniting entire packs. It's so freaking fast for leveling. And you'll notice I'm actually leveling with gold worms for the mana regen, as well as a, uh, I think, I think I have, oh yeah, clarity. And do I have any other mana regen from gear? I don't think so. I'm just mostly wearing like, item quantity and rarity stuff. Um, oh, I found this ring. This, well, this is actually a lucky roll of mine, but like I said, I'm leveling up the rarity stuff. So uh, I found this ring here. It's got mana regen on it, but I didn't need that necessarily. Essentially, you just need a little bit of mana regen from items. So uh, gold worm was enough and then clarity. And I got like another, um, oh, yeah, I got shaper along the way on my particular build path. So since I am going right as far, I have a lot of regen. So either way, this works on a lot of characters. I did it with my trapper, my shadow, whenever I was leveling up my shadow trapper and it worked really well. So I definitely like this build. It's really simple. It's really fun for leveling new characters. You can even use a, a Searing Bond. I was thinking of grabbing a Searing Bond. It's a good defensive mechanic. You can put down a Searing Bond, Totem, and then you can charge up your Flame Blast, everything. You know, that's super burn. That's like super mode, but I don't know. Just just to not be, uh, just to act like I'm a Hispture or something, I said, oh, I'm not gonna use a Searing Bond. I'm just gonna use Cold Snap Trap, so. Uh, either way, the build is great, it's a lot of fun, and it's not too expensive except for the Searing Touch, which, uh, you know, you can technically sell that off. You can always use a uh, Scepter that has, like, fire damage or elemental damage on it with a shield, and that works fine too. Like, if this is a, a new character or a new league or you don't have any currency, then that's the way to do it. But Cloak of Flame, you should be able to grab that pretty easily. So, hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel as I'll be doing a lot more. And check me out on stream at twitch.tv slash for more builds in the future. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.